already have a lot of time for Volvo's V60 estate, but giving it the cross-country treatment can only broaden its appeal. Buyers get a choice of mild hybrid petrol and diesel engines with 8-speed automatic transmission and permanent all-wheel drive as standard, plus an off-road driving mode. It's not cheap though. Volvo offer two choices under the bonnet of this second generation model V60 cross country. The 197 horsepower B4 mild hybrid diesel engine being the unit that most choose. It endows the cross country with a braked towing capacity of 2000 kilograms. An alternative B5 mild hybrid petrol unit with 250 horsepower is also on offer. Permanent all wheel drive comes as standard along with 60 millimeters more ground clearance than you'd get in an ordinary V60. Plus, this cross-country version also gets hill descent control and an off-road drive mode setting. So, as you can tell, it's much more suitable for rough road treatment than the previous generation V60 cross-country model. Hill descent control automatically controls the car's speed down a steep slope, while the off-road setting alters the operation of the constantly variable all-wheel drive system and the responsiveness of the engine, gearbox and accelerator pedal to help when negotiating tricky terrain below 25 miles an hour. The base V60 was always a handsome car, but the cross-country version amps up the attitude a good few degrees, with the addition of robust bodywork protection elements. Finished in charcoal grey, these include wheel arch extensions, lower sill mouldings and a rear bumper embossed with the cross-country logo. Inside, there's much that's borrowed from the brands V90 and XC60 models, the interior boasting Volvo's uh, latest paired back interior design language with a 9.3 inch portrait orientated touchscreen infotainment system. Plus there's a digital instrument panel with virtual dials separated by a customizable central space that can display a navigational map, trip computer info, or your chosen phone or media settings. The back seat has comfortable space for two, but the prominence of this central transmission tunnel makes it difficult to comfortably accommodate three. Out back, there's a standard powered tailgate, which can be operated with a wave of your foot beneath the bumper if you're approaching the car laden down with bags. It rises to reveal a 529 litre cargo capacity, which is a figure that outstrips that of obvious rivals like the Audi A4 Allroad, the BMW 3 Series Touring X-Drive and the Mercedes C-Class Estate 4MATIC. Then the 60-40 split folding rear bench folds almost flat. Volvo's Drive-E technology means that the WLTP rated fuel returns and CO2 emissions are well up to class standards. For the B4 mild hybrid diesel using the standard 18 inch wheels, the benchmark efficiency figures are up to 48.6 miles to the gallon, combined cycle fuel economy with CO2 emissions of up to 153 grams per kilometre. For the B5 mild hybrid petrol variant, the figures are up to 37.6 miles to the gallon and 170 grams per kilometre. There has to be a better way, something smarter than the legions of soft rotor SUVs. They're inefficient, lumbering, and have become a bit of a cliche. Volvo reckons that the answer's been there all along. Its cross-country brand has a long heritage, dating all the way back to 1997, when this Swedish brand was the first to take an ordinary estate, then the bigger V70 model, and give it extra all-road capability and chunky off-road styling. Over 20 years of experience since have culminated in this second generation V60 cross country model, a superior example of its genre. Yes, the price is quite high and you could get a quality premium SUV for the same amount, but if that's not really what you want, this countrified Volvo just might be. <laughs>